What's going on guys? This is Empty Box, and this is iRacing Week 13 GT1 Challenge from Homestead Miami Speedway Road Course Layout A, I believe it is. It's the one with NASCAR turns 3 and 4, so high speeds will be assured here. So anyways, we're starting 6th in this race, Week 13, the points are made up, nothing matters. No safety rating at all, let the carnage commence. Car on your left. They're driving the Corvette because clear on the left. Car on your somebody's got to do it. Stay on the right. Still there. Clear on the left. And what better way to ensure that you will see a Corvette in this video than, well, driving the Corvette? Car on your left. Clear. Well, after I'll be plenty of time for the DVR9 as well, which you'll definitely end up seeing on this channel sooner or later. Ah, poor exit there. Now, the Corvette does have a bit of a top speed advantage over the DVR9. It's quite small, although I do have the least uh, rear wing on this car right now. So even though you see we're closing up the gap quite significantly, it's not that big of an advantage. It's probably mostly down to the car amount of downforce left. being the used. Next car's the leader. Clear on the left. Okay, you're in second. Go right. He's gone. And I almost did the same. You do have to be careful at low speed with these things, as usual with NI racing, but uh, with no anti-lock braking, it seems like it's really easy to actually lock up the, the uh, inside rear brake, inside rear tire, and that will uh, cause you bad times. Right. Still there. Clear on the right, right side. Still there. Stay on so come way. on, Corvette power. Still there. We got a slightly better launch, but clear. Oh yeah. Okay, you are the leader. <laughs> And plus, a poor downshift will definitely unsettle this car really quickly, which seems to be, I think, half my problem. That plus just generally being a pretty poor driver anyways. concrete strip though in the middle of that hairpin really really will mess with you because there's a big bump once you transition onto that surface and if you get on the power too hard too quickly you will hit that bump and you'll be under power because you'll think oh hey I can pull away from the corner but no then suddenly the car hops into the air you know four inches next thing you know you're spinning around cursing like a madman This is a really fun little uh, roval, though. And it's kind of sad that it doesn't get more use. Well, that said, this track actually did host a FIA GT1 race back in the late 90s when GT1 was basically the prototype class, more or less. There's a little fact, I'm not sure how many of you guys actually knew that, but pretty cool little note. So 
This was a 25 minute race, or 20 minutes, I can't remember which, it seems like it's probably 20 minutes, but either way. It's a pretty short little race here. Of course, week 13, nothing really matters, it's just for funsies. So that's why we see short race distances as well as a heck of a lot of carnage. Car stop on the left. Go right. <laughs> oh, I, I think I think True Racer just ate it right there. Truly picking pieces out of the fences is what he now is. And my goodness, my goodness. <laughs> Wyatt is way too freaking fast. Like, he's just way too good at this. He started from the pits and he's already four seconds behind me. Slow car ahead. No, don't you dare do that. Of course, I was paying attention to the car that's spinning around. Not driving my car itself. Gotta be really careful coming off the brakes. Make sure we get a good run. Let our top speed advantage do some work. Although he does have the slipstream, but this is how I expect a lot of races this season to play out a little bit within the official GT1 series here in iRacing when that goes live next week. Which, yes, I'm quite excited for. Quite, quite excited for. Too deep. And I over overcompensated. It's not that there's no grip, it's just that it's so easy to get the car out of shape at low speed. Like you really, really, really have to roll the corner. Definitely got to get out of the mentality of attacking low speed corners with these things. Looks like we've got a pretty solid little race going on here in week 13. Always good to see. Yeah, see that is definitely, definitely a downshifting problem. It's just causing the uh, drive line to seize up a little bit and you get just a little bit of wheel hop. Which unsettles the car. Car right. Clear on the right. Go for the undercut. Well, he's got to run, but we do have Corvette power. Come on, baby. LS7 for the win. Oh, yeah. Remember, folks, 8 is greater than 12.
although I really, really need to stop overdriving that corner. You ain't gonna have it. You ain't gonna have it. Left side. Keep to the right. Clear. Right now there is all sorts of crazy lightning that has just developed outside my house. That's always reassuring. Car right. Clear on the right. All this battling is just bringing Wyatt into play. And if you've done one of these Week 13 races, you know that guy is just like way too freaking fast for his own good. So I don't think I'm going to be able to hold him off, honestly. There we go. A little bit better through there. A little bit tidier. definitely beating us into the corner. He's definitely probably pulling away. Or actually, I guess you'd say beating us off of the corner itself, but I think really the low downforce that we're carrying is really helping us out. It seems like once we get to about here, he just can't quite hold on to us. Oh, he wiggled just a little bit. Left side, clear on the left. Car right. No! Still there, hold your line. Clear. Oh, his just power slid right into him. Okay, we need to get a good, good run through this corner here. an ideal. So hopefully the slipstream plus our speed advantage. Oh yeah. Left side. Oh yeah. Keep to the right. Clear. Ah <laughs> yeah. Car on your left. You're on the right. Three wide. Clear. <laughs> Wyatt! <laughs> Come on! I'll joke you aside. It's fun to race with him because he is really, really good. I've done more than a few races in the Week 13 series with him over the years to know he's a really good driver. Even if he is trying to wreck everybody right now. Got good power down there, actually. Hopefully that meaty 7-liter V8 does some work once again. Car on your left. <laughs> Stay on the right. You've got 10 laps to go. The next car's the leader. Keep to the right. Still there. Stay on the right. Nope, Clear. nope, nope. Dang it.
I just know that they were doing way better than I was on braking and I just pushed it a little bit too far. Let's see if they can slow down one another and duke it out a bit. Definitely need to not do that again. That was that's very poor. Come on, guys! Wait for me! <laughs> wait for me! I guess that's one way of getting the getting the job done. Okay, so I'm not really surprised that Wyatt got by us. <laughs> I'd like to finish my battle with this guy. But with the goodness that is the Corvette's top speed, if we can hang with them on the infield, we might be able to fall back some time and actually hang with them. It's definitely easier to pass on the straight than it is into the corners. You don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. Three wide. The next car's the leader. Left side. Two wide. Clear on the left. <laughs> I don't know how fast we were just going into turn one, but we were going damn fast <laughs> into turn one there. See if we can get back up in there. Definitely owe a lot this race, though, to the Corvette's top speed. Although, then again, that is part of the downforce versus drag equation. If you run with less downforce, you're going to go faster in a straight line, but at the same time, you're definitely going to be slower in the in the twistier corners, so who knows how it would play out. Yeah, about two, maybe three laps left. get a better run coming off of the hairpin, but I just don't have the confidence over this little bump strip. That's what's hurting me. That's why they're able to pull away initially coming off the corner, but once again, that Corvette power. One more lap. Come on, we gotta keep it close. We gotta keep it close.
That just cost us big time there. That was my chance. I blew it. Come on, Corvette power. Come on, you don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. You do not want none of this. <laughs> oh, man. There's the flag. It's over. Fantastic racing, guys. Great job. You did really well. <laughs> Oh, come on, Wyatt. I was running minimum rear wing in the Corvette. <laughs> yeah, doing 180 miles an hour into turn one as you come off the banking and the car bottoms out. That's always a fun, fun experience. But, uh, yeah, fun little race. Differing downforce levels clearly resulting in a pretty different race uh, and some, some good, exciting good action. Set up for the Corvette. If I uh, do say so myself. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come within the GT1 Challenge official series once that goes live. But uh, I have to say, that was fun. That was exciting. That was very, very exciting if I do say so. So hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.